Prime Minister is trying to buy herself one last chance to save this deal. If she doesn't take on board the fundamental changes required, then she must make way for those who can. The Prime Minister has been forced to pull tomorrow's vote in a stunning display of pathetic cowardice. The fiasco today, the government has really lost all authority. And let me just say that I and my colleagues will fully support the Leader of the Opposition if he now proceeds to a no-confidence vote, as duty surely calls. We still, even now, don't even know when she wants to bring this vote back or even what she wants the deal to be. Does she not realise how chaotic and ridiculous this makes our country look? She's handed over power to the people that she's going to negotiate with over there in Europe. She looks very weak, and she is. Mrs Thatcher had a word for it. What she's done today, F-R-I-T. She's frit. She's lost the trust and credibility of the House, lost the trust and credibility of the country, and most importantly, she's lost the trust and credibility of the European Union. I have been sympathetic to the situation she finds herself in. But I have lost that sympathy. She is a captive of this unpleasant nationalist populist group in the Conservative Party. She knows, she knows that when the politics of this place is broken, you either resign, you go back to the people in a general election or a referendum. No one gets to play for extra time. What the heck is going on? This <laughs> is a complete and utter cluster bearer. How can anybody in this house, or indeed anybody in the countries of the United Kingdom, ever trust a single word that she or her government speaks ever again? The Prime Minister <laughs> may be prepared to be humiliated by arrogant EU officials and by Irish politicians. But does she not realise that every time she comes back here with her tail between her legs, she humiliates the British people? She has the barefaced cheek to come before this House and lecture us about our duty to this House and our Parliament. Isn't it true that no Prime Minister is better than a bad Prime Minister? 